Um, hi guys, um, welcome to today's class. What are you doing? Okay, well, carry on. Okay. <laughs> Oh, welcome to today's class. So today we're doing self-defense part two. Ooh. That's four. Two. This is awesome. So we're just going to start the class. Shugo. Let's go. Great. Oh, there you go. Smash. Lovely. All right. Since Chris, you can do the warm-up, but don't be too strenuous because it's really hot. It's a very hot day today. It's a very hot day. A very hot day. Right. Let's get our hands out. Hands out. Let's just attack that invisible piano. And this way, sit some symbols. Clack, 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 clack. Clack. Those aren't right type of symbols. Right, we're going to do a little bit harder with jumping jacks since you're in trouble. So we're going to jump, cross, and then jump, and then cross the other way. And your hands and feet have to swap every time. Yes. Right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Fine. We're talking about how to... Go I'm trying to get the time and then jump in. That's okay. Look at this. Wow, little machine. <laughs> <It's even. laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> I lost it for a minute. And time, everyone. Very good. So we'll have a little stretch to start with today, yeah. instead of just to finish. So you're going to walk your feet out, do like a front split, as low as you can go. And then if you can, get your hands to the floor. Go even lower. Oh, I hit the radiator behind me. There we go. Oh, that's actually pretty good, I think. Well done. Me, not you. Hey. You know, mine's terrible. Ah, I give myself cramp. I got my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gear on today. People are yes. hoping my legs is different. Right, and then switch your legs. Stretch. Ooh. 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 That's the best side? I used to get weight a lot. <laughs> you did. Used to be able to almost do the splits. <laughs> wriggle, 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 wriggle. Ow! And then I'm gonna go this way because it's easier for me. <laughs> And then legs wide, the box bits. Good job. Wide as you can. Stop it. I'm helping. <laughs> Don't give up. And then walk your feet in. <sighs> Hold those toes. And stand. So, one of the issues, <laughs> we're going to start with. We're going to do something physical first, so things you can practice at home to self defense. And then we're finished with kind of where you can sit and have a stretch and we're talking through some of the theory, which is kind of the most important thing with self defense. It's much better to understand what you can do, what you can't do, what you should avoid, than it is just to know how to punch someone, right? Yeah. Now, talking of punching someone, it's a bad idea. Do you know why? Because. <laughs> there's so many reasons. Be... Yeah, there's a lot of reasons. <laughs> Shouldn't be hitting so Let's say you had to hit someone, right? But what, what situation are you It's an impossible to? situation where your only option is to hit someone, right? So someone is attacking you. That is yes. literally the only They've time. They've already hit okay. you. They've You're already hit you first. <laughs> They've hit you first. Yep. And you have to hit them back. And you even then, <laughs> if they're way bigger than you, trying to hit them back might just make them angry and hurt you more. So it's, it's pretty much never a good idea. But if it is, <laughs> if I punch someone, if I punch the light here, boom. Your knuckles and your bones in your hands, these are all quite small bones, right? And if you can punch quite hard, which most of you can because you do martial arts, your hand can break really easily, especially if you hit someone's forehead, because it's just a big, strong bone here, right? Yes. And you can break your hand. So a lot of fighters have really weird looking hands because they've broken. And pub rulers are the worst for you. So you know, yeah, I always get in fights, I always win fights. If you look at them, they're like, these knuckles are like all jagged Four backwards. Four year olds. So, <laughs> Sometimes when we hit, this still might be the right thing to do, you'll risk breaking your hand. But we can use other things, like you need someone, you're very unlikely to break your knee. If you headbutt someone, you're very unlikely to break your head. Mm -hmm. And with our hands, if we're going to hit with our hands, instead of punching like this, I can go like this and hit with this bit. And this is just one big strong bone. So if you're at home, don't do this, but you'll be able to hit the wall really hard like that. But if I punched it with this bit, it starts hurting a lot faster. Mm. Right? Or if you hit pads, or your parents got pads, or you got a punch bag, you punch it like that, it will hurt a lot faster than doing this. Yeah. Right? The idea being that it's not just this bit of your bone, it's the fact that behind it, you have all of this. 
you have one giant long forearm. Whilst before you've got this, yes, you're punching, but they're so covered in tiny little bones. Whilst here, you've got the strength of all your forearm and a strong bone there. So we're going to have a little practice. We'll just go this side so we can see. So I see the bad guy coming. I'm going to step like this. I'm going to keep one hand out and the other one back. And this is ready to hit with, right? But if the teacher looks over there, clearly it doesn't look you know, like this. It's not as threatening. The person comes forward. As soon as they touch my hand, I just swap hands. Boom! And I hit them with my palm strike. Now don't hit your brothers and sisters. We're just going to stand like this. <laughs> and then we're going to and hit. Forgot I'm right-handed. Right. <laughs> so ready? Itch. And back. Knee. Good. And the same as when we do basics in a line like this. If you pull really hard on this hand backwards, right, it makes the other one come out faster. It's a bit weird, but focus on the one you're not hitting with and you actually punch really hard or palm strike really hard. Uh, Sag. Good. Chi. Go. Rook. Sit. Hatch. Q. G. Good. We're going to swap sides. Put a rush on. Right. Ready? Itch. Knee. Oh, this feels good. Sam. Chi. Go. Rook. Sit. Hatch. Q. G. Good. Now, one of the problems for you guys is that you're children. <laughs> right? It's not a problem, it's just, you know. Or even if you just. Sensi Julia could punch me as hard as she wants, she's probably not going to knock me out, right? It's like, maybe, but it's, it's unlikely, okay, right? Not it's just going to, and in a lot of ways, it will, might just make things worse, right? If someone as big as me attacks someone as the size of Sensor Julia, and she just hit me as hard as she could in the body, I'm just going to look at her annoyed and maybe beat her up even more because I'm angry, right? But if she kicked me here or hit me here, that's going to work. Right? Even though she's much smaller than me, there's a sensitive enough area that it's going to really work, right? But you're also going to make them very, very angry. <laughs> so you have to basically do it really, really well. So we want to do it perfectly and then run like the wind, yeah. right? Because some people, even though they're in pain, they still chase you. Like, they're still, they're still my still carry. Still after you. Right? So for me here, I'm going to kick and then twist on your foot here and you'll be ready to run away. So we're not just kicking and standing there waiting for the punch you in the head because they're really angry at you, right? I kick, twist, okay. run. In one move, kick and run away, right? So we're gonna be, we're gonna be the front of the mat here in the studio. Front of the mat. So we're gonna kick, twist up foot, and turn the other way. Good. So we don't have to really run, we don't have much space. We're just gonna make sure every time we finish, we end up facing the other way that we could run. But try and not put your foot down, okay? So it's literally it's one twist. So you kick forward, and already by the time you put it down, I'm already facing that way. Right, ready? Itch. Knee. Stand. And just. Chi. And Go. And just. Rook. I am going to. Wait for it. Rock, <laughs> switch, hatch, run, coup, run, two. Yeah, now we do the other side. Let's go for a little bit weird, I think. Three, itch, woo, yeah, knee, stand. Why are we doing jazz hands over here? Ready? If I run. <laughs> well, like, what's the new two thing? What? I know, it's what the kids do. They run with their arms behind them. Do they? Sam! Yeah. Do you? Whoa! <laughs> she! It's sure it's an enemy out there. I don't think they should. Go! Rook! As in spring from school, it's definitely not the way to Sitch! I didn't say it was more efficient. Hatch, but it looks confusing. <laughs> Q! You're so fast! G! Beautiful! <laughs> I'll get you a drink since you do. Thank you! Now I just have to wait. Right, hasn't. Come on, hasn't. <laughs> uh, don't drink it! Mm? I'll get you a drink slash half drop only. <laughs> Thanks so much for all of you coming in on our Friday class last week. It was awesome. Had a nice 14 of you. So we're going to have another one this Friday, even though it's half term in quick marks. So, so. <laughs> it's going to be run this Friday, which is very exciting. Ooh. By Sensei Phil. So it's 1 o'clock, we'll send you all that, Lily. Um, I'm coming around and doing one-to-one -one, uh, private lessons in your gardens, um, maintaining social distance. 
Um, so if you'd like to book one, just email or phone us or text us and we'll book you in a time. I've already seen a few of you, it's been really fun, I'm yeah. enjoying it. So nice to see your home, and like, I've missed so many of you, it's just nice to see it's you. It's really nice. Right, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk about distracting someone, right? And it seems really obvious, <laughs> but when we're scared and have to use self-defense, it's not the most obvious thing to do, but what we want to do, it sounds a bit strange, but you want to do, be completely odd. Right? So it's such a dude being really aggressive to me. Oi! What do you want? And I go, oh. I go, oh look over there, there's a spider. She's like, what? So? What? what? Yeah, so? Yeah, like, so? I go, my mum! That one will work, right? <laughs> or, Maybe if you're a 40 year old man, that would be good. Or you can go, please! I like, the bad guy's gonna look, right? They don't wanna get in trouble. So they're always, they're gonna look. There. And that could be your opportunity to run away, or we can do our palm strike or something, right? So, all we need to do, you're going to be here, we need to point, and then, palm strike, like that. Simple as that. So you're going to be here, hands up, and you go, look over there, and, move, <laughs> ready, my mum, not really. <laughs> the thing is, this would never work when we're training with partners, because you all know that that's what your partner's going to do, so you're like, it's stupid. And they become ready for straight away, they're like, and it's <laughs> But if you're actually genuinely in a position where someone is just getting really angry, they're not looking to fight you with you, like, as in they didn't come out, hopefully, that night being like, all right, I'm gonna fight with this guy. Wow. It's just, maybe. <laughs> but for the most part, it's just that they're angry in that moment, they've just gotten over their head, just whatever it is. Either so, way, even if they're trying to hit you, you should be able to distract them with something. Right, come on, non-secular girl. Sorry. Right, here we <laughs> Look, non-secular girl, hit her. Yeah. That made sense. <laughs> a dog. <laughs> That wouldn't work. No one's gonna turn to look for a dog. Alright. Dad, help me! <laughs> that would work. That would be uh, Help me, look! Oh! Uh, Fire! Do we... Don't tell me, please. You'll be like, the police are here! Sausages! No, oh, no not sausages. <laughs> Ice cream van! Oh, yeah. No, maybe, yeah. One second, huh? Basically, if you're gonna hit someone, the chances of you hitting them goes up a lot if they're looking somewhere else. Right, it's a classic distraction for me, right? If I'm gonna hit Sensei Julia, I'm gonna go like this, she might see it coming and block it or hit me first or do something. But I'm like, oh, please, she's gonna, boom, I can hit them, or I can just run away. I'm not saying hit them. Run away is probably a better idea. Right, so, we'll look at a really bad scenario. The bad guy knocks on the floor. Eh. <laughs> so, if yeah, Sensei Julia stays on the floor, I I'm going to kick her. No, you just be knocked down. Oh. I'm going to kick her, stomp on her. Now, in the class, there's always one clever sausage who says, they can hit me from there. So Sensei Julia punches me in the shin, and I stomp on her face. And then she kicks me in the leg, and I take a running kick in her leg. Ah. Right? <laughs> so even though she can hit me a little bit, she's rubbish. Right? You've got no gravity to help you. You have no leverage to help you. I have no hip movement to help you. There's a couple of things you can kind of do, but they're nowhere good. I'm in a ten times better position up here, right? Now, if she just lays there, I might be really horrible and kick her in the head or punch her in the head or pull her hair or something, right? But what she does have is her legs to keep me away. So if I try to move towards her, she can just push me away like that, right? If I got down low, she might better kick me. Ugh, that would definitely hurt. So, obviously, I know her legs are in the way, so I'm going to try and go around. Look, and wherever I go, she's going to follow me. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, like that. So what you're gonna do, just five times, gonna make sense if you do it. She's gonna stand up first. <laughs> so you're copy along at home. You're gonna fall over. Do one full spin. Dip, full spin. And then stand up again as fast as you can. <laughs> there we go. Don't ask the bad guy for help. <laughs> That's unusual. Right, four more sets of you, ready? No, you're done. No, I need the whole workout for it. Yeah, Come on. Four more. One more. My key's gonna come off. Uh, and knee. Good. Spin. No, I need a Try and beat Sensei Judo. She's very slow. Good. And it's done. Did you want? Very hot day. We need it. You go the other way now. And uh, she. Oh, that worked. You're racing the kids at home. Yeah, and they're winning. Evidently. They're five years old. They're already stood up. That's because there's half a body. Like one of the bodies is the same size as my leg. Alright, I'm up. Uh, one more. Go. Spin. Oh, that's 
spin. Everyone mocked you for the last video you were in where you were just floundering like a <laughs> fish out of water. I could kill you with my thumb. This is why, for self defense, being fit and healthy is very important. We need to be able to outrun the bad guy, outwork the bad guy, right? He might be bigger and stronger than you, but if you are fitter, you can just run away and keep running, and they will have to give up when they get tired. Right? So, don't feel like sensitive. <laughs> Actually, make an effort. <laughs> Actually, make it. Have a little drink. I will. Sensitive, you must be tired. I am. Try to kill me. <laughs> Where are you going? Just this way. Excellent work everyone. So what I want you to do is just sit down and we're going to talk for a little bit and then after we finish talking we're going to do a few sit ups and press ups and things to finish off. So, we'll sit down. We can't sit down. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to talk about how to deal with a bully, right? So we're going to talk about the kind of fundamentals. So the, the Basic thing, if someone's being horrible to you, you need to let everyone know, right? Your parents, your teachers, your friends, right? Let everyone know and let the person being horrible to you know, right? Maybe they're just teasing you, right? Sensei Julia starts calling me a giraffe, right? Because I'm very tall. You're a giraffe. <laughs> and like, maybe she thinks, I don't mind being called a giraffe. Oh, I don't mind being called a giraffe. But... Sensei Chris laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Right, but actually it hurt my feelings and upset me. But I didn't tell her because I didn't want to seem like a wimp or whatever. So next time she calls me something a bit worse, and a bit worse, and a bit worse. And then it gets really, really bad where she's really hurting my feelings. And I could have stopped it straight away at the beginning. Just be being like, I don't really like it when you joke about my size. It hurts my feelings. Mm. And she, most people are nice. They don't want to upset you. They're just messing around. And most people will go, they might just be like, oh, you wimp. But they won't do it again. Or they'll say sorry, which is very nice. Because um, most people are trying, like, in terms of like bullies, most guys who end up bullying people don't wake up in the morning going, right, who am I going to bully today? It's just something that they're trying to be funny, they're trying to make other people laugh, they're either trying to make other people in the class laugh. So if you don't give them something to laugh about, if you start laughing with them, then they're like, huh, great, that's exactly the response I want. We're all now laughing. Even though inside you're like, well, I really hurt my feelings, I don't like it. Whilst if you go, that's not a very nice thing to say. Why would you say that? It immediately takes anything funny out of what they've said, and then other people will be like, yeah, yeah, that was me. Why did you say that? It's not us. So what we want to, next thing we want to focus on is emotions, right? So it's a very difficult thing to do, and this is one of the reasons children struggle so much as opposed to adults. Adults are a bit more in control of their emotions. You think about a baby, they're hungry and they cry and scream, right? And not many grown-ups cry and scream if they're hungry. They can control themselves a bit better. I get very hungry. Right? Sensitive so so, if Sensei Julia, maybe she was, wasn't was calling me a name because she's my friend messing around. Maybe she was actually trying to hurt my feelings. So she called me a giraffe trying to hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. If I go, I don't like doing you to you, and I start crying, I get really upset. That's exactly what she was trying to do because mm -hmm. she's not being very nice, right? And it makes her feel better because she's rubbish, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, what we need to be able to do is control your emotions, mm -hmm. right? So if she scores at me and I go, oh, I don't really like it when you do that, right? I didn't get upset and go, don't do that, that's horrible, right? Mm. Like that. Or I didn't cry and be like, no, right? Like that. The same thing, right? Let's say it's really horrible and she walked up and punched me, right? Boom! Obviously, she wanted to hurt me and upset me, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it really hurt, right? If I cry and something really hurts, it hurts the same if I don't cry, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell my children this. So she hits me as hard as she can, being horrible. And I'm like, that wasn't a very nice thing to do. And I don't even show that it hurt. And she's like, I hit him as hard as I could. It doesn't even... Did it register? What are you going to do? Right? The same, when I was fighting and competing, if someone hit me, and they were, you know, we're trying to hurt each other, if they hit me, and I was like, oh, they're going to come in to finish me off. I'd have to pretend all the time. Maybe you get hit in the body and get winded, right? Most of you've been winded. It's horrible. Like, <gasps> right? I couldn't do that in a boxing fight. If someone hit me there, I'd be like, then you don't breathe. <laughs> and then after the fight, you're like, <gasps> right? <laughs> so you have to take your emotions out of it. It's very hard to do, but you can practice all the time. Every time you're in a situation, you can even practice when something upsets you, like, 
your brother takes your toy or your parents tell you you have to go to bed, right? And you want to cry and scream. Mm -hmm. You can do some deep breaths and practice being in control of your emotions. And when you're in control of your emotions, you're in control of your actions, right? Mm -hmm. Because your actions aren't just led by how you feel, but what you actually want to do, right? Mm -hmm. So if someone calls you a horrible name, you can, there's lots of ways of dealing with it. You can tell them you don't want them to, right? Mm -hmm. Or you sometimes, the best thing to do is to go with it, but not, sh you know they were trying to hurt your feelings, but you can redirect it, right? So since you're going to cause me giraffe again. Go giraffe. Right? And I go, I know, I'm so tall. My dad's six foot five. I can't believe I'm this tall. You're so lucky. You're like a normal height. I wish I was a normal height. I'm so big. I stand out in a crowd. Uh, and then she's like, oh, I was trying to hurt his feelings and he's just, just nice, right? There yeah. was a point when I was younger, just as like, as a personal story, I have very hairy arms, I don't know how many of you want to notice. Oh, no. But when I was genuinely, when I was, I think, like year eight or something, so I was like 12, 13, there was a kid who used to sit next to me and he would sit there occasionally and just start like... You tell the hair. worst story. No, but it's true. It's so there was one day he was just like, dude, it's really hairy. And I was like, yep. I've been thinking about growing them and turning them into dreadlocks. <laughs> Literally, I said that and he was just like... Hmm. Yeah. But then literally he just stopped doing anything because he was like, well, there's no point. She's not bothered by it. It didn't annoy her. And I went home and cried. My mum going, I'm very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, no, it was just like, that's the thing. You take the sting out of what they're trying to do. If they're trying to hurt you, then don't act hurt. If they're trying to upset you, don't act upset. If you have just like a neutral, why would you do that? That's not a very nice thing to say. Don't be like, I was, like what are they going to say? Oh, I was trying to hurt your feelings. Think about what people want when they say things to you. You know, they go, oh, you're so, look how rubbish your shoes are, you're so poor. And like, they're just trying to hurt your feelings and make you feel bad. If you go, well, they're not too bad, yours are lovely, I wish I had a pair like yours. They're like, oh, I was trying to make him upset, he was just nice to me. <laughs> right? That's so much worse for them. But in your head, you want to use bad words and hit them, right? <laughs> but we, you need to be able to control yourself. And that's why martial arts is so good, because if you're sparring, if I'm sparring with Sensei Julia at G, man, just to land a really good punch, boom, right? That's a bit like her calling me a horrible name because it makes me, it hurts. It makes me a bit angry. I'm annoyed at her, right? But if I'm just reacting, ah, she's gonna hit me really easily, right? Because my hands are down, I'm not got a good technique, I'm swinging, right? If I'm like, okay, stay calm, it doesn't matter, control the emotions, just pick your, you know, choose your punches, do the stick to what you should be doing, then like, that's why martial arts is so good. That's why sparring is so good. It puts you under pressure. And that's why in the class we do lots of games that are like competitive. So you have to feel the emotions of losing sometimes and winning sometimes and someone else being better than you sometimes. And it'll help you with all these other scenarios. Yeah. Let's do a bit of exercise. Elizabeth, like three seconds. Ready, touch your nose. Yeah, I did it. Okay, more? More sensitive. Uh, so, let's cross, uh, hook our feet together. I'm going on the inside. Okay. 50 today? Yes. <laughs> right, you've got to do it in time. Tuck your feet under the sofa, guys. Right. Yeah, feet under the sofa. Itch. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Oh, it's Japanese. Right, I can't count 50. Itch. <laughs> Go. Chi. Do it. Do me. Do San. Do she. Do go. Do look. Do sit. Do hatch. Do go. Do do. Do do. No, it should be like me. Need you. Need you. Yeah, need you it. Need you me. Anyway, right. Alright, twenty. Ready, count. Three one. Ready. <laughs>
Awesome job, says the deer. Well done. Very good. What's the time? Let's have a little stretch to finish. Oh, thank you. Oh, my tummy. One leg in, one leg out. but sometime in the future just keep it like as a little note in your diary and know that we owe you one between now and december so whenever you do feel like up, coming up to a grading or anything just to be like oh actually now would be a really good time and then we can just book you in then yeah if you want to wait a little bit longer with social distancing then just send that as well whatever works for you yeah i think as a general rule we're going to try doing fridays aren't we Sassy? Get you working on those Fridays. Unless you obviously need to do a different day. Uh, butterfly. <laughs> oh, my legs are tired. This is a very good stretch, you know. Rocking from side to side. Stretches the inside of your thighs. <laughs> yeah, I'm across. Look over your shoulder if you can. Just add to the stretch. And it's side. <laughs> and put one hand out. Are you getting your pocket money? Just keep your back. No one has pocket money in cash anyways, nowadays. <laughs> I think they've all got PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No? I don't know. Do you? Cash. Cash is satisfying. Guys. <laughs> Let us know. Do you get pocket money? Do you get pocket money? How much? How much? And in cash form. And where do you hide it? <laughs> and Chris coming to your house soon to do that. Other hand. I did the other hand. Oh, you did? You didn't say it. You're following along. Oh, okay. Head to one side. Yeah, head to one side. I'm a very unstretchy neck. Right, the other side. Backward. Okay. Awesome work everyone, thank you for following along. Remember there will be another class coming up Thursday and the live class Friday and then you can have a one-to-one. -one. Just send us an email. Alright, arigato. Good job guys, well done.